Why hello there chub chubs and aspiring chub chubs like Sean's Nelson here from the Nestline Academy of Imagination and Design. Oh wait a minute, is it the Pen and Blade Academy? No, it's the Fantastic Anatomy Academy. I don't know, <laughs> I haven't settled on a name yet. But in our Discord, I've had four promising students take the first uh, task. It's looking a little too yellow for me. Take the first quest in the path to becoming a pen master and the first chep step is out of chub chub here i'll show you a chub chub that's a chub chub all right but that's neither here nor there at the moment the first task is to is to draw three pages full of expressive skulls using the fantastic anatomy method and i was going to do a draw over of theirs and be all high and mighty and judgmental no i wouldn't do that but i i figured well i must suffer through the same trials that they did it is only fair i shouldn't uh because who knows you know i uh i gotta go through the experience so i'm gonna go ahead i don't know why i'm stalling because i got three pages of these babies to draw so i'm gonna go ahead and start drawing them i don't think i want to use this pen and while i'm drawing i'll probably keep it casual and talk about whatever i actually think i might talk a little bit about the fantastic anatomy method and let's use the brush let's try out the brush right there it's a custom made brush that I made. Um, I should have made that figure out my brush settings before I got on here. It's okay. All right, let's just get started. So, um, hmm, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. So fantastic anatomy. Some of you have subscribed, and since this channel has been pen and blade, so you're like, what is all this fantastic anatomy talk? Some of you have subscribed from way back. When this was Fantastic Anatomy and I was mostly making anatomy videos and drawing videos about drawing like people and stuff. And you're like, what's up? And everyone's confused and that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> so you shouldn't either. Alright? So I'm going to start off with more regular skulls and I'll get them, make them more and more fantastical as we go along, I think. And I want to keep it really more sketchy, so let me make it bigger and, and lighter. All right, and uh, okay, so let's make this one a little wider. So, so back in the day, uh, I think this was 2012. Anyways, I was a little bit like frustrated, I suppose, because all my life, all I wanted to do is draw cool wizards, and um, so let's make these skulls a little more expressive. Let me make this guy up. cool wizards and warriors and such, just to get them out of my head and onto the paper. I want to draw them with their equipment. Casting a spell or whatever, but mostly like I could be happy just drawing their faces and then um, I could imagine the rest, you know, but just to get something down there to really start expressing myself and also to to do more What is it to do more? Um, of the creative work down on the paper as opposed to waiting So I should probably hurry this up. So I'm gonna do it quickly because I think it's good to go quickly in the beginning but you see how I'm not using, and I'm not going to make this too tutorial-y because I have the videos. And you can check out the Fantastic Anatomy playlist. I think if you just search on YouTube Fantastic Anatomy or Fantastic Anatomy playlist, you'll see it in the first video is the one I'm uh, kind of going on. So, um, here, let's make this one rounder and fit this whole area. So I was like, okay, I want to come up with a method, that, like a step-by-step -step method you can use to make all sorts of characters. And voila, the Fantastic Anatomy method was born. Because I figured, okay, if you can do crazy stuff with the skulls, and then just build on that, that seems a lot easier than starting from scratch. So, like, say if I wanted to make this into a character, I could put some eye in there. And then I could just kind of do a little something like that. This one all, I mean, it already is kind of it's got what you need there. You just got to fill in the rest of the details. And give them hair. I'm watching the Steve Martin martin master class on how to do comedy so here's some steve martin hair and that's it and a little bit of hair like that and then you've drawn the most disturbing humanoid imaginable okay that's it that's all it takes let's make an oblong head so so i started working on this method and then like i guess this is in three-quarter perspective a little bit and uh yep yeah, the rest is history no <laughs> And I actually just made like three or four videos and then I got stuck and I was like, oh man, I got a lot to learn if I'm going to go any further because I can't teach what I don't really know. So that really inspired me to start studying harder. 
all right and, it, and i think i left it alone like if you want look at my first couple videos i think there's a pretty big gap between or i tried some other stuff before i oh i'm just kind of rambling and drawing all right let's do an orc let's get a little more fantastical so we can make the jaw bigger so um so yeah, I think the the method kind of was working out, and it had potential, but I had to work harder. And then later on, I ended up starting to take art seriously, and being like, okay, that's what I want to do for my career. All right, and there are a couple reasons why I didn't uh, end up with trying to continue with that, because I was working my butt off for like a year. One of them was I working my butt off for a year, realized that I still had a long time to go. I mean, like eight to ten hours a day, and I'm still like, okay, I got a ways to go, man. The other thing was, um, let's try one and three quarters perspective to see how the fantastic anatomy method works. I think it works okay. Um, so, uh, oh, and these are supposed to be expressive skills. So let's make them a little more explicit. Let's make it thin. So what was I saying? I keep jumping back and forth. Fantastic anatomy, and then I started drawing. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't realize. And then a uh, guy in the industry was like, yeah, you probably need like a year more. Before you're ready to start showing your work, your portfolio professionally, and I'm like, I don't want to work in the job I'm at for a year. And then I started looking up how much you get paid, and how much time it takes, and it's just competitive. And I was like, you know what? That's not me. I'm not competitive. I'm not trying to hustle too much, you know. So I kind of dropped that. But I still want to learn how to draw and do my own projects and stuff because that's fun. And I just want to be able to draw chibi characters and, and all sorts of characters. Um. So yeah, so anyway, so that's kind of what I was, what if I do something like this, what's that going to do? So that's a fantastic anatomy story, okay, so then blah blah blah, I basically I went and I created the Nestlon Academy of Imagination and Design, this is what I did in that year where I was drawing like every day for super, for a lot of hours, um, and that, the idea behind the Nestlon Academy of Imagination and design was that I gave myself a curriculum and there's a video on it you can look up how to search uh, how to do your own art curriculum or I try to put these in the description and I probably won't and I'll try to remember how to make your own art curriculum then I made a book and I made all these like classes for myself so I figured drawing 101 um here let's make this one like that so that should be the skull like this and then I put the little eyeball in there and put the thing and you can put the eyes around it like that. And then here you just put some nostrils, shade the bottom part of the nose. Put it like that. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I think it's time for dinner. I think I heard dinner getting finished up. Should I just do one page? No, let's check it out and do three pages. Everyone was like, three pages? You gotta do three pages? Um yeah it's not even that much do the one page come on come on you guys so one of the things i did was draw 20 so i would draw 20 of everything uh so but i would do it times three so i'd do 20 skinny skulls 20 fat skulls and 20 and then see now i'm going to start getting creative like let's do oblong uh different sized eyes okay let's do uh, a square head So you draw 20 of everything, and then draw the same thing over and over, and you'll be able to draw that thing. That's kind of a, a it seems obvious, but you get tired after like 10, man, before 10, you're going to be like, I'm, I don't want to draw any more of these. But that's when you got to push through, all right? And I don't do this anymore, so maybe I'm being a little hypocritical, but that helped me a lot. I think I learned that from Sikre Yasin, the iterative drawings video iterative drawing method or something it should still be on youtube somewhere so you can check that out let's do a dwarf let's give him some facial hair too so a little bit more square a little bit of a gruff personality wide nose beautiful facial hair bigger ears that's it we've got a dwarf we could give him a little beautiful hairstyle like that okay what is this page two let's storm through these babies Little eyes, little mouth. So if I was to create this character, what would he might look like? Let's see, I want to figure that out because I'm curious. And then I might give him his cheekbone. 
Alright? And that's how you speak English, everybody. That's how you do it. That's the way that it is done. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, whatever. See, so you're just doing your thing. And that's it. Once you're done doing your thing, you go and you take a nap. So then, at some point, I stopped doing... Or, okay, one of my biggest hit videos, alright? One of my biggest hits. Put me on the map, baby. Uh, was the map drawing video, a step-by-step -step map drawing method or whatever, and um, that's gotten way more views than like anything else on my channel, and gotten way more subscribers and stuff like that. And that seems it's typical that that for YouTube channels for like one thing to take off randomly and be the bulk of their subscribers. And then I realized there's this crazy community of people who love drawing maps, man, and they're they're for real. And I get it because I love drawing maps, but I didn't even think that that was like a whole thing with everybody. And so that's pretty cool. So I started drawing more maps, and then I started getting into D&D &D and being like, uh, and tabletop role-playing games. And then I was like, wow, I could talk a lot about all these kind of world-building and writing and uh, creating and stuff like that. That sounds fun. So I kind of started thinking, well, what is Fantastic Anatomy? That's like, that doesn't... It just, it doesn't, it's not a brand about tabletop role-playing games. So that'd be very strange. It's almost a strange theme on its own for a drawing thing, you know? Um, yeah, that's the scope. All right, don't judge me. So, um, so yeah, so I said, okay. Then I got a rebrand. And uh, Jordan Blyler, one of the people I met on this channel, that uh, I'm actually met up with in real life. The one person I met on this channel that I met up with in real life, even though he lives on the East Coast and I live on the West Coast. Isn't that crazy? Uh, him and I were talking about rebranding the channel and stuff, and uh, he came up with the name Pen and Blade. I think we came up with something similar, and then I was like, wait, and then I came up with Pen and Blade. I wonder what the similar thing was. I remember him. Oh, Pen and Sword? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, so uh, let's do one more page. i got to finish this up before dinner. So now I can make my skulls a little bigger just to cheat. I don't want to cheat too hard. And then I'll give you guys a sneak preview of... Um, of the other the chub chubs that have done their uh their three pages that i'll do draws or overs and draw some characters on in the next in part two of this in the next episode let's do it an episodic thing pen and blade academy no fantastic anatomy academy that sounds great right and then you start off as a chub chub and you end up as a pen master all right whatever we can change the color it's not like a thing that you have to freak out about See, I'm getting kind of bored because I want to make these into full characters because it kind of like you run out of, I don't know, there's only so many things you can do. Can I do this a sideways thing? I've never even tried doing Fantastic Anatomy. Oh, right, nope, I have, I have. I think, yep, I have, and it works. We have to study the side anatomy. Actually, it's kind of, it's kind of really fun. Alright, whatever. And then, um... All right. Oh yeah, let's do some weirdo ones. Weirdo ones. <laughs> did I just yell that into the microphone? I'm sorry if I did. I get a little excited and delirious sometimes. So this guy's confused. She says, "Hey, why did you make my fish like this?" All right. And I said, "Leave me alone. I'm trying to draw." So then we rebranded it, Pen and Blade. Oh yeah, I'm still on the exact same train of thought. There are multiple tracks running in my mind <laughs> simultaneously, evidently, and um, and it was glorious. Actually, no, it was actually the, I actually lost more. I wish I could show uh, pull up YouTube Studio right now. It's on my phone, but not here. Anyways, actually, it was the only time I think in the history of my channel, maybe except in like the very very beginning, that I've ever had a negative subscriber count on one day. Like I lost more subscribers than I gained one day. When I was started, when I rebranded it and started putting out Dungeons and Dragons videos of me talking to the camera, nothing to do with drawing, and um, this could be a nice, cool little halfling. I can dig that. Um, and I thought they were great. And I did all this editing and spent lots of time on it, way more time than I did on the hit uh, map making video, and it was a flop. I even hired a friend to to help promote it a bit because I was like, you know what, if I get this. 
and this could be really cool, and then a lot of people like like it, and um, yeah, I started posting daily and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let me hit this like hard, like I'm serious, and uh, see what happens. And nothing really happened. In fact, it did less good than than it than than it was doing before. So I realized, okay, okay, take it easy. You know, just have fun with it. Don't don't worry about it. And now I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, YouTube's just fun, and uh, I'm not like I'm not really considering it as a career thing or anything like that, or even monetizing on it. But I like the community aspect. You know what I'm saying? I like the idea of making fun RPG stuff and like the world of Chibu. So I started working on a tabletop role playing game just because it's fun, and I wanted to. And I've been drawing these Chibu characters, and I wanted to have a game that they live in and build the lore. And that's what's up, you guys. So I think I'm going to leave it there. That's what I've been up to lately. Chilling with the chub chubs in the Discord. So here, let's look back on a retrospective on all the skulls. Wow, that's beautiful. That's modern art. I'm going to print this out. Hold on. Let me just... Hold on. Are you guys ready to have your mind blown? Are you guys ready to just uh, send me $25,000 for this piece of art? Exclusive. All right. One of, print one of one number one of one. Oops, excuse me, hold on, this is how we roll. This is how we roll, and we've never rolled a different way. No, no, that's not how we roll. See, I'm telling you, this is serious. I'm not even messing around. <laughs> I'm just going right here. We're just going right there. That's fine. So you got to leave here. All right. All right. That's it. Now, Shams Nelson, or uh, contact at shamsnelson.com. You can just email me if you want to purchase this. Uh, um, on serious offers only. And, um, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, so I guess I'll show you guys just real quick. Woo! Page one. Uh, page two. This is a kind of cheating page, huh? I got lazy there. Page three. This is a fine page. That's fine. This probably could have fit some, made me a little smaller. Look at that. This is beautiful, man. I go to the LA art show sometimes. My dad's a photographer. And this would sell for, I mean, like a regular, a, like regular size piece of paper. Nice print, though. Glycy print or whatever it is. I mean, maybe if it was a print, like a limited edition series print, you only, you know, you could get it for like, like 125 bucks probably or 60 bucks even depending on how limited it is but if you make it big you sell it for 10,000 bucks if i paint this by hand somehow sell it for like 50 man <laughs> you guys got to get into that fine art man forget concept art digital painting all that stuff just make fine art man <laughs> all right so i'm gonna do a cyber what is it cyber sketchbook flip through cyber cyber sketchbook flip through i think that's what it is and show you guys all my stuff here. That's not what I'm all about right now, though. I'm just going to show you some of the chub chubs. Where are my chub chubs at? Where are my chub chubs at? What? See all. I made a whole folder called chub chub. But, um. But, uh. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, I've got to label it. i got to make it. So, we got Molluscoid, Ray Dougal, Skeletor, in the Command 10. So, let's just go in super quick. Can I just swipe like this? So, I'm going to be doing some draw overs. Of these guys choosing some of this, like this guy right here. Oh, cool. I can do that? What? Oh, whoops. How do I undo? I'm, I'm so used to... I hope I didn't leave it. Uh, Alright, whatever. And then uh, this one. How do I do that? Or just erase it? This is unintuitive. Apple, you fail. Ray Dougal. Let's see his style. Oh, interesting. Oh, man. I'm looking at this guy down here. I'm not going to touch it with my pencil. I'll let you guys guess which one. Looking at the guy up top with the creepy smile. Alright, I'm looking at homeboy. You know who I'm looking at down there. You don't even I don't even need to say nothing about that guy. <laughs> and then I'm looking at you know who I'm looking at here too. Yep, bottom right, baby. So Ray Dugo will draw a couple of your guys. Now Skeletor was one of these guys. Oops, what is this? See, look, his thing, he just completely defies convention. Everyone else works. But his it had to load or something. Look, I and also noticed he only did one page. But I read him graduate to the chub chub status. So you don't get to become a chub chub until you've done your three pages of skulls. And he sent me two pictures. 
So I assumed he did too, and they were so crazy, I just wanted to just be like, alright. Plus, he's the Skelepope, so there he is, see in the bottom left? He's the Skelepope, so he doesn't have to follow the rules. Um, but everyone else has to do three pages. We got the Command Tent. Oh, alright, alright. Um, oops. Let's start over here. Cool, man. These are going to be fun to do. Definitely seeing some orcs. Oh, that little orc looks cool and goofy. I'm seeing a dwarf. I'm seeing the halflings. Oh, man, this is great. I've even seen some extraterrestrials. Oh, I'm liking the dwarf up at the top. So I'm going to be have a lot of fun drawing over these. All right, cool. We got a good mix here, man. Good uh, good variety in your in your skulls. Yeah, I like it. Look at this. He's got some square ears. He's got some uh, round ears. He's getting it, man. All right. Very proud of my chub chubs. I don't know what the second level of this is, but the third level and the final level is pen master. And I think there's going to be a couple more challenges. Once you've done the three, the three things, there's a special secret challenge. So they all know the secret challenge, but you don't because you've got to join the discord and then you've got to, uh, take, you know, take the chub chub challenge and do your three pages of skulls. Until then, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.